What's going on, guys? It is Derek P. Fields, aka the Gridiron Blitz, and I'm back with another kitchen video. Wanted to, I'm sure, I'm sorry, guys, for the shaky cam and the low production value, but I am. I wanted to get on the mic real quick. Got a busy day. Uh, got to take my son to his mom's house. Got to pick up some food. Got to get ready for tonight's stream. Uh, got to do some work on a computer. So I don't have a lot of time. So I don't have time to really go downstairs and, and make a video. But <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you guys, Lions fans in particular. Uh, it, it's that time of year. Lions are in, in route to get the second pick. They currently have the third pick in next year's draft. And uh, for us Lions fans, our season was over before it even started. But uh, the season is officially coming to a close. And there's a lot of fan bases that are really starting to kind of pull at each other and uh, really kind of test their loyalty at this point. Um, but I do have to say this. I do have to say this. I don't think that anybody has the right to particularly judge another person who supports any fan base. So if somebody wants to be a super fan, that's their business. If somebody uh, doesn't really believe in their, their team and is a uh, casual fan, that's their business. I've had several people comment on my last video about what being a fan is. And you guys are right. I am not a fan. I am a supporter. I will not sell my house for this team. I will not, uh, you know, give a liver for this team. None of that stuff has happened. This team, these people, the funny thing about fans, and, and, and I'm speaking of most fans, is that they are loyal to people who don't even know them. And if you think about fan bases, like a fan base is, you feel Ford Field, which holds 64,000 people, and nobody on that, on that field can pick you out of a crowd, okay? But you can name every one of those players. Just think about how, how that sounds and how ridiculous sometimes we can be as a uh, supporters of, of teams. Like it, it, it's just a game and it's ridiculous. But the purpose of this video is I want to have a, a conversation and I want to do something to, for the Lions fan base. I mean, we are, we are literally divided. If you believe in Matt Patricia, then you're a fool. If you don't believe in Matt Patricia, you're a fool. Here's my argument with the people who believe in Matt Patricia. If you believe in Matt Patricia, that's fine. But you cannot, you cannot knock the people that have no right to, no reason to believe in Matt Patricia. And it's not necessarily Matt Patricia. It's the Lions organization as a whole. Okay. Now, do I think that the people who believe, who don't believe in Matt Patricia have more to back them up? Absolutely. This man is nine, will be 21 and one. A lot of people's argument is where you have to, he's rebuilding. You have to tear down a, a you know, a, a, a culture and rebuild it and all of that. To me, that makes, that doesn't make sense with what the Detroit Lions had back in 2017. Well, to me, that doesn't make any sense. You had a nine and seven franchise and we'll, we'll try to go, I'll try to go into this during the off season about was Jim Caldwell as bad as everybody's saying, okay? You're trying to tell uh, people's argument with Jim Caldwell is that he didn't beat winning teams. What has Matt Patricia done? He's beat the Patriots. I don't think we've been, we've beaten a team with a winning record this season. And last year he beat the New England Patriots, who I believe might have had a winning record at the time, but Matt Patricia right now is, in, is no better. So, Here's what I want to say to y'all, and I really believe that the people who believe in Matt Patricia are a lot nastier than the people who don't. You guys are like the people who, and it just amazes me how this man has done nothing for this franchise, okay? Absolutely nothing, but yet you will go to war for Matt Patricia, and that doesn't make any sense to me. Now, I'm not trying to say that you're not entitled to your opinion, but it doesn't make any sense. But that's the beauty about people and fan bases and people as individuals. We could have some of the most off the wall thinking of a diff of another person. And that's just the way things are. But to be at each other's throats about a team who does not know who you are is ridiculous to me. OK, this team has constantly done nothing. People's entire lifetimes have passed. 
generation upon generation, generations, and we have been the laughing stock of the football world. Now, if you believe in this organization and the franchise, I'm okay with that. I do not. So you should be okay with that without trying to make those people feel like they're less of a person. All right. I, I like to use this analogy. So, so here's what I'm offering. Why don't we do this? Why don't we make some type of bragging rights? Okay. Why don't we come up with a, a, I don't know, a, 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 a structure, something that if the lions don't do this particular thing, that that side can have bragging rights for the entire 21 season, 2021 season. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'd rather do that because I am ready. This doesn't make any sense to me. Um, have you seen the Lions schedule for next, next year? It is not easy, but we're going to go all over all of that. Uh, and I might, like I said, I might go back to making videos, uh, because, Live streaming is different for the algorithm. And yes, contrary to whatever you may hear, YouTube runs on an algorithm. Uh, so you might see more uh, video structures during the, the actual off season. But let's do that. So leave in the comments, what do you think we should do? Okay. I'll turn that into a poll, like the best answers, and then we'll vote on that. And my community, all right. And if, if any other communities want to get in on this, any other, uh, you know, YouTubers um, that are Detroit Lions YouTubers or anything like that, you want to get on with this, you want to get into this, let me know. Because I am sick to death of people, uh, and it's typically the guys who believe in the organization. They come like, like they have a crystal ball and they can see the future. Okay, we're simply going on the history of this organization and how it really how it's been run since the the Ford family has taken over. All right. And keeping Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia. I don't see. So I feel like for those people who are on team Matt Pat. OK, you have one year. That's it. So I would prefer for us to make some type of wager. OK, as, as in, in, in the terms of. Having bragging rights for the next year. All right. No matter what the outcome of 20. I already told you guys what I'm doing. If they don't win a playoff game, I'm done. I am taking a break until they do. I'm talking about Lions merchandise, anything Detroit Lions. I'm taking a break. You know why? Because I would. If you are that loyal to this team, then you are indeed a fan. I am not. You have two separate bases. If you want to say that you're more loyal to me than you are, I guess, because you will follow this team off the side of a cliff. And to me, that's not being a fan. Well, that is being a fan. That's also being dumb. So I will say this, leave it in the comments. We'll turn it into a poll. One year to rule them all. Let's have a nice, friendly wager. And whoever side wins, we get bragging rights for the next year. Okay. Team Matt Pat, Team Fire Matt Pat, or, or something like that. Let me see. Team Matt Pat and Team Matt Whack. There we go. Matt Pat and Matt Whack. All right. If y'all want to come up with something better, be my guest. Let's do it. So if you in, leave it. Let me know if you guys are in. If this sounds like a good idea, this is just ridiculous, man. We we how is the? I just don't understand how the people who believe in this organization. First of all, how can you? But that's on you. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to understand. But if I don't or anybody else does not believe in this organization, that's OK, too. Period. And you guys will have the last laugh anyway, if that if your predictions are true. So we can all say that this is it for Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn. If they don't. Well, it should be. So let's come together and let's figure something out. Leave it in the comments. You guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you tonight. Uh, the last Monday night football stream. So let's have some fun. All right, guys. Peace.